most influential bassists of all of 1960s and of all time. Carol epitomizes the Les Paul Innovation Award and joins the incredible list of previous recipients, such as one of my favorite producers, Brian Wilson, Sir Paul McCartney, and Joni Mitchell, just to name a few. Carol's sound is ubiquitous on the recordings of which she played. Legendary records like the Beach Boys, Stiff Vibrations, and California Girls. Glenn, Glenn Campbell's Wichita Live, Frank and Nancy Sinatra's Something Stupid, Ike and Tina Turner's River Deep, Mountain High. It was once said that Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did, except she did it all backwards and in high heels. In Carol Kay's career, she was the best at what she did, and she was the only woman in the room. Here's a two short video of some of the highlights of Carol's wonderful life in music. Chances are that Carol Kay has played on more unforgettable legendary songs that you know in your bones than anyone else in pop music history. Carol played on Good Vibrations and California Girls, and she was like the star of the show. I mean, she was the greatest bass player in the world, and she was way ahead of her time. Playing bass is pretty easy. Yeah. Perhaps the most prolific bass guitarist of all time, having played on more than 10,000 recordings in a career that has spanned over 50 years. Carol began playing jazz guitar in her early teens. She even gave guitar lessons and played regularly on the popular LA nightclub circuit. Her first session work came in 1957 through the famed Gold Star Studios, playing for such legends as Richie Valens and Sam Cooke. At Gold Star, she met producers like Phil Spector and the Beach Boys' Brian Wilson, and soon became the first call for studio recordings. She quickly made a name for herself as an in-demand session player. Recognized for her signature work playing acoustic guitar on the Righteous Brothers classic You've Lost That Love Feeling. In 1963, when the bassist didn't show up for a session at Capitol Records, Carol picked up the Fender bass, as the electric bass was then known, and the rest was pop music history. It was hard to have to come up with riffs and stuff, so about the third line I came up with was. Bassist, teacher, and author, 
and as a pioneer and inspiration to aspiring young musicians everywhere. Carol Kay is truly a legend and a most deserving recipient of this year's NAM Tech Les Paul Innovation Award. Yeah. 
night. Thank you.